Okay, let's continue on with part configurations in Onshape. In the previous video, we took a look at how you could set up different uh, variables in order to control the different configurations for your component. Now let's take a look at adding in some other different features in here. So for example, some of these are going to have this chamfer and some aren't. In order to add that as a configuration input, I'll go to the drop down, which actually drops up, and choose to do a checkbox. And for the name of this one is going to be chamfer, whether it's going to have the chamfer or not. And here we have the checkbox for default check. So by default, I want them to have the chamfer. Let's hit the check mark. And now it tells me no features are configured. Let's hit the plus sign for configure features. And I'll select the chamfer feature in here. And what we're going to use is whether this is going to be unsuppressed or not. Let me choose unsuppressed. And that adds it as a column in the list over here. Let's click done for selecting the different parameters. And so when this chamfer is checked, I do want the chamfer to be unsuppressed. In other words, I want it to be in the model. But when the checkbox is cleared, I want it to be suppressed. And so that's why clearing it makes it actually end up being suppressed. This can be a little confusing, unsuppressed. Clear the box, unsuppressed means that it's not going to be in there. All right, that is good for this one. The other thing that I want is to be able to choose whether it's going to have a hex head or a star cut. So let's bring back the hex cut in here so it looks a little weird. For this one, for the next one, let's go to add configuration input. And again, I'm going to do it by a checkbox. And the name of this input is going to be hex head. And again, I'll have the box being checked be the default. Let's hit the check mark. And for the configure features, I'm going to select both the hex cut and the star cut. So, so I'll select hex cut, unsuppressed, and star cut, unsuppressed. Let me click done out of here. I've got what I want. And so in this particular case, if hex head is checked, I want the hex cut to be unsuppressed, but I don't want the star cut. And similarly, if the checkbox is cleared, I want it to have the star cut unsuppressed and not the hex cut. So again, that's a little you know confusing here. One last thing I'm going to make in here is that if I take a look at my configurations list, I have chamfer above the hex head. I actually want the hex head selection to be above it. So let's choose move up from the little overflow. And that way it changes the order inside of here. So that way I have everything configured inside of here. And again, if I wanted to have different variations of hex versus star cut, different values of the chamfer. If I was using a traditional family table in Creo Parametric, I would be configuring a long list of entries. So this is kind of nice. I, I like this uh, functionality here in Onshape. Let's collapse the configuration panel. Let me make sure that my various different sketches are hidden. And you can see that, let's hide this one as well. There we go. Now I have the hex cut in there and the chamfer. If I uncheck the box here, then the chamfer goes away. So that way I can easily configure whether it's having the chamfer or not. Right now I've got the hex head. Let's uncheck that and you'll notice it toggles over to the star cut. And so that way I can choose what kind of head it's going to use. And like we saw in the last video, I can control the other different dimensions in here. Change this to 10 and 10. So in that way, I have a fully configurable bolt part. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.